I'm Sean Hines and this is Hard News for Hump Day, December 10th, 2014. It looks like the shitty attitude perpetuated by anonymity on the internet has finally bit the old US of A in the ASS. Tekken 7 will be getting a new character inspired by the J-pop idol scene and it's an exclusive in Japan, East Asia and Europe because we couldn't keep our big fat American mouths shut. Lucky Chloe is a dancing machine that destroys her opponents while wearing a cute kitty cat outfit. As series director Katsuhiro Harada let us know that the decision to exclude the character from North America was because of a NeoGAF thread hating on Lucky Chloe. Some users even went as far as to request the ability to block the character from online matches via Twitter. Harada didn't appreciate the criticisms and followed up on the announcement with some tweets about how America didn't want her, so they won't get her. And this is why we can't have nice things, you nitwits. As Detoid's Jonathan Holmes is reporting, Amiibo Geddon is upon us. While Nintendo has yet to give us a definitive answer to the safety stock of some of the lesser known Amiibo, another store has reported they will no longer carry Villager, Wii Fit Trainer, or Marth when the final shipment comes in for restock. First, a Canadian retailer known as Video Games Plus let patrons know on Twitter that those Amiibo were being discontinued. And since then, Super Sleuth Holmes went over to a local Toys R Us and had them check if the SKUs were still in the system. Unfortunately, they're not. So it appears that once those Amiibo are gone, they're gone forever. In an official statement, Nintendo let us know that due to shelf space constraints, other figures, i.e. the unpopular ones, likely will not return to the market once they are sold through their initial shipment. Well, doesn't that suck? And finally, Twitter is proving how awful people can really be while not assuming any responsibility. Peter Moore, Electronic Arts COO, called out the social media giant last night for not taking any action against a series of repeat offenders on the service. User XboxGamer87 is the most recent attacker and genius behind the fantastic Twitter bio. Peter Moore's EA, the one person I want to see die, has banned and reopened his account more than once. Using 140 characters or less, Xbox Gamer 87 has attacked more with awful threats against his life and that of his families, including the rape of his wife and the death of his children. While Peter Moore gets a lot of these, the last bit spurred him to report Xbox Gamer 87 to Twitter, and their response was, we've investigated the account and reported tweets for violent threats and abusive behaviors, and have found that it's currently not violating any Twitter rules. Great. I think it might be time for you to update those rules, you morons. Now our comment of the day comes from Skunkfu1x who notes, Hey Sean, something tells me most of the G1s here support that terrorism which is pretty disgusting thing. Look, Skunkfu is right about this one guys. Looking through the comments yesterday it became apparent that some people agreed with the notion of gassing furries and I don't appreciate it. I might not be a furry and you might not be a furry but that doesn't mean those who are deserve to be killed for their lifestyle choice. Their decision hurts no one, unlike your decision to spew bile into the comments section of news yesterday. How about instead of hating someone because they're different, you just keep your mouth shut? I'm Sean and that is the hard truth. I was on the newest episode of Side Scrollers yesterday and since this show's all about me, I figured I'd plug another show all about me. Kind of took Chad's place because he was super busy and Sam and Craig and I, we all talk about PSX the new Street Fighter V and exclusives on new generations of consoles. Just click this window here to my left, see what it's all about.